Hey all, hope you are good. In today's video, we are going to discuss about depends on past and wait for downstream parameter in Airflow. So let's begin. So what is depends on past parameter in Airflow? This parameter is used to determine whether the task instance execution depends on the success and failure of the previous instance of the same task. So when depends on past parameter is set to true. So while executing the current task in current run, it will check the status of the task in the previous run. So if it is failed, then it will not run. And if it is success, it will run successfully. Now, if it is set to false, depend on past parameter is set to false, irrespective of status of previous run, the task in the current run will execute normally. So let's see by coding in Airflow. So this is our diet. demo depends on task. Let me enable this rag and go to code view. So I've imported all my necessary libraries and I've set the default arcs with start date to begin from 1st of April 2024. I've created second task function and third task function. And I've set the schedule interval of this diet to run at each and every minute. Now I have created the first task with bash operator, second task with python operator and third task with python operator. But in the second task I have set the depend on past parameter to true. To true. This means so when the second task will get executed it will check the status of the task in the previous run. So as you can see until now two runs has been completed now three runs as the DAG is getting executed every minute. Let's intentionally fail this tag. So what I'm doing, I'm opening WinSAP and changing the second task function with uncommenting this line and clicking on save. Now let's go back to our airflow to see whether scheduler has parsed, parsed our DAG or not. Let's wait. It might take some time to get refreshed okay so you can see our this line line number 15 has been now uncommented so you can see in this run this python task 2 has been failed you can see from this log now what will happen in the next run so wait let's wait for the next run so according to the code in the next run this python task 2 will not get executed So you can see a total of four run has been taken place and now fifth run is taking place. So you can see running one is running one is in failed state and three runs are success from airflow. Yeah. From airflow UI you can we can check that three runs are success one is in running state and one has failed. So from the next run we can see Python task two is not getting executed since in the previous run python task 2 has failed now let's wait for the another run to happen and see what will happen in the next run since you can see in the another run python task 2 function has not run now let's again comment that line So now what will happen since the error has been rectified and now let's mark the state of the python task 2 in the last failed run to success. So go to mark state as success and click on mark as success. So see what will happen in the subsequent run. So you can see for that particular run python first python task 3 function will execute and now you can see from the next run python task 2 start running automatically. And now you can see since there is no error in python task 2 function now in the from next run 
the execution will take normally now let's look at the next parameter wait for downstream so wait for downstream parameter is used when we want to check the execution status of all the tasks beneath it so when this parameter wait for downstream is set to true this task will check the status of all the tasks beneath it in the previous run if it is success then its execution will start start if it is false then it will wait for the uh, execution of the failed task to complete before it, the run of that task gets started if it is set to false it uh, regardless of success or failure that task will execute normally so let's open our airflow ui to see so we have this task demo wait for down, uh, downstream and let's click on the code view and also let's unpause this dag so that the execution of this da uh, dag starts and click on auto refresh so that from what happening uh, uh, what is happening in the airflow ui we will see so what i've done i've imported all my python libraries in the default arg arguments i've set the start date as today's date that is 1st of april 2024 i've created uh, second task function and third, ta uh, third task function i have created a dag with this uh, dag id name and set the schedule interval uh, uh, to run every minute now we have created first task with bash operator i have created the second task uh, with python operator and third task with python operator and set the dependency between it but what's the difference is in the first task i have set wait for downstream to 2 so as this dag is getting executed let's uh, make a change to its code now let's intentionally fail this second function now we will get to know how wait for downstream parameter works so as this line gets uncommented let's see what is happening in the airflow ui so you can see this uh, we have intentionally failed this dag python task 2 and we will see what is happening afterward since bash task 1 since its uh, its parameter is set to wait for downstream so this task will not run until the error in the python task 2 is being rectified now let's rectify this error in this python task 2 so let's again comment this line and so so you can see the line is get gone again uh, uh, commented out and let's rectify the error in this task by clicking as mark status success so you can see as is that it got success the next python task 3 will get executed and in all subsequent runs the execution will start so you can see until now bash task 1 hasn't started in all the uh, next dag run but now you can see the execution of each and every dag run has started so we can see how setting to this parameter checks the execution of all the tasks beneath it so in this video we have seen two of the important parameter depends on past and wait for downstream hope you enjoyed the video stay tuned for our next videos